failing. I hate failing. I hate feeling like a failure. Now, if you've said that, guys, you're not alone because I've said it many times before. But in this video, I'm actually going to talk about why you should seek out failures and how to make them successful. We're going to get to it after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your journey with less stress. Now, today is another exciting video in the Motivational Monday series, where I'm all about helping you enjoy your Mondays as well as your Fridays. So today's topic, guys, is all about how to enjoy and seek out failures. Now, I know that's gonna catch a lot of you guys by surprise because you're like, no, dude, I don't like failing, you know? As med students, we don't like failing because we don't want our grades to suffer. We don't wanna look incompetent or silly, and sometimes, Frankly, we're just too comfortable in where we are. You know, progress would be nice, but going backwards is more detrimental. So we're gonna stick where we are. I did this, you're probably doing this as well. But let's talk about why it's important to fail. And let me give you some examples in my own life of how my failures have led to some of my biggest successes. So let me give you some examples. One. I decided to start the mdjourney.com, which is my blog and now YouTube channel. And I was writing and I was a horrific writer. I decided to create these videos about a year and a half ago. And if you watch the very first video, you'll see how terrible they actually were. Uh, I'll link it down below if anyone's interested. And other things, you know, for example, I was an average studier. I would be spending eight to 10 hours a day my first few months in med school and I was miserable and my grades sucked. So failure, those are all examples of failing. I failed repeatedly. It's not that I noticed them and then I tried to make changes and then suddenly aha moment. No, when I was a terrible writer, there would be people for months at a time after I'd be writing 10, 20, 30 articles where no one would read it. There were videos that I would work super hard on and they sucked, frankly and no one would watch it. There were studying strategies and styles that I would try and take and I thought this was gonna be the one. And I would do it and my grades would actually go down compared to what I had. And those were all failures. So it wasn't instant success. But this is why, and this is the main point of this video, why failure is something you should seek out. Through that writing, I realized everything that I did that didn't work. Through the videos, I realized what I was doing wrong because I realized what was going correctly in the videos that got a lot of views and what wasn't in the videos that never got any traction. In the same way, my studying, every adjustment I would make would lead me one step closer to the study strategies, study ideas, study principles that I now use and now teach. And that's the idea. Failing, guys, leads you to your success and that success has the lesson. And that's the main point of this video, guys, which is failing leads you to lessons and the lessons lead you to your success. You cannot be the most successful version of yourself if you're not willing to find the lessons. And the best way to find the lessons in a time efficient manner is by failing and failing often. Every time I try to study strategy, I'd be like, well, that's not the one and move on. But what if I refused to make adjustments? What if I was happy with the B's that I was getting early in med school and never trying for the A's? I would never be able to identify you know, the final product, or maybe it would have taken me even longer to understand that this is the strategy and style that works best for me. That goes with everything else that I do in my life. So the real question is, what can you fail at? Where are you in life where you feel like you're stagnant? You're studying, your productivity, your relationships. Uh, it could be multiple things. And then ask yourself, what's something that I can take a leap on or make a small adjustment and be okay with failing. For example, if you're in a relationship and you want to make the strides to be a better partner, you can try to do something different uh, in your relationship uh, for your significant other and see if it works. Do they respond? Maybe it didn't work out. Tinker, be okay with failing and move on and try again. Same goes for your studying, same goes for your health, everything else guys, be okay with failing. I know I'm being repetitive, but it's so important because I see people in the med school community and the medicine community being okay with just where they're at. And we've talked about this in a previous Motivational Monday of don't be okay with your average, but this video is a little bit different. Find your average and use failure to keep moving the needle forward. So that is going to wrap up this video, guys. And also comment down below what you think of failure uh, in your own life. But guys, if you want more videos just like this one, first of all, let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe. And thank you for always being a part of my journey. Hopefully, I was a little help on yours. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.